Hello Stormwater Designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education Videos. We're now on to part B of that Windows TR55 project we were working on. So it says determine developed condition peak discharge and runoff volumes. That's what we're going to be working on here. Rather than beginning with a new file to determine the peak discharge and runoff volume for the developed condition, it is possible to edit the existing condition file previously created. So let's load up our recent file here. Okay, I've just done that. So start your program, go to that file, open it up for step one. Then in step two, edit the user LD or user ID, project name, and subtitle as appropriate. Edit subarea name, subarea description, and where the water leaving the subarea flows in the subarea flows to reach outlet box as appropriate. Since this example uses the same county state combination established previously, there's no need to work through the global data selection process to change the dimensionless unit hydrograph, storm data source, and rainfall distribution identifier information. Okay, so now we're going to put in future or developed condition. And we're still in Franklin, Missouri with the type 2 here. Now we're going to put in developed land use as the name here. Okay, let's go down here. Click land use details once again. So right here, land use details. In the land use details window, edit the land use as appropriate and click accept to accept the changes and return to TR55. So now we're going to be using urban area. Let's scroll back up to urban districts, industrial, and then we're going to have 12.5B acres of developed land use in this case. And the curve number should be 88 for that. So I'm going to hit accept. Okay, 83. So let's find out what, what went wrong here. Let's see. Oh, I need to remove the other land use. Make sure you do that and zero for that. Okay, accept that. The sub area and runoff curve now appear in the sub entry and summary portion. Okay, so we have the developed land use there now. Weighted curve number is 88. Step four, click the time of concentration details. To open the window in the time of concentration details window, edit the appropriate information to compute the developed condition sub area time of concentration. The path of the flow for the time of concentration details will be the same and have the same slope, but the surface itself will be paved and smooth. So let's go smooth surface and paved. And that, so the path of the flow of time concentration details, okay, but it'll be paid. Click accept to accept the changes. The sub area time of concentration now appears in the sub area entry and summary portion of the window there. Time of concentration 0.135 hours. Click the run icon and select the 25 year storm event for this example. Okay, click run button. We have our hydrograph results then there. When the run is complete, the file display window opens showing the hydrograph peak peak timetable. To review other output, click window TR20 reports or window TR55 reports and select the reports to view. So we're going to input file. That's window TR20. And then we can say the Windows TR55, so that's how to access those. To save the data, click File, Save As. In the Save As, Windows TR55 data file as pop-up window. And under uh, in location, a new file name and click Save. So we're going to go Sample 1B. So now that project is saved there. And for the Part B results, the 25-year post-development discharge was 77.5 cubic feet per second, and the 25-year post-development runoff volume was 4.432 inches, which converts to 4.62 acre feet. And the runoff volume can be added in the file display window. So that was the Part B lesson there. I hope that was helpful. Like the video and leave a comment down below to see more videos like this. You can find our entire TR55 series in our playlist on our channel. And anyways, we'll see you guys next time.